Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Wrestling Media. We continue our coverage of the sport. This time we head to Hempstead, Long Island, New York. Hofstra University has been looking for an assistant. They've been very patient, and head coach Dennis Papadatis announced yesterday the appointment of two-time All-American and Hofstra alum Michael Petrovich. He joins us today. Michael, how are you? Very good. Coming back home to Hofstra, how important was that to you and to your family? Oh, very important. I mean, this is a, a great opportunity for me. It's what I love to do, and uh, I'm extremely excited to be back here at Hofstra, wearing Hofstra gear, be back in the restroom, back on campus. I mean, it's a very exciting time for me, my family, and for Hofstra Wrestling. Coach Papadonis uh, expressed to us that bringing you home was important to him, and he couldn't imagine anybody being a better fit. We happen to agree. Uh, we, we describe you as being a total package, both as a coach and then with the wrestling philosophies and the experience you've had there. How do you see your fit? I mean, is it as good as, as, as I see it? I, w I would hope so. I mean, I, uh, I started in Long Island Wrestling when I was five years old. I haven't left the community. Um, built a lot of great relationships uh, with my experiences here at Hofstra, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's a great fit. So when I asked you yesterday how long a, will it take you to move and everything, you said, well, we're on the like eastern side of Long Island, so it's basically just going to be adjusting my daily drive. Yes. So that's that's good for everybody involved. You get to hit the ground running. You know the uh, facilities. You know the leadership. And uh, now that you are among them, what will become your goals? Well, I want to I want to have uh, Hofstra Wrestling be back in the national spot like like we were when I was here. I mean, uh, Dennis has done a great job. Uh, uh, setting the program on the right path as far as uh, our APR and the um, the GPA, and he, you know, he's done a great job with that. And now we want to be back to being competitive and be back in the national spotlight. So let's talk a little bit about you as a person, as an athlete. You had a incredible career at high school, and then went on to a storied career at Hofstra between 2002 and and 07. And I I would like to point out there were a couple of medical red shirts in there. Uh, you understand that process uh, perhaps better than most, but uh, you've since then had several scholastic coaching positions since 2008. Tell everybody what you've been doing. Oh, I uh, I left Hofstra. I went to Hills West High School and became the head wrestling coach there um, of a struggling program. Uh, when I left there after five years, we uh, we were a top ten program for two years in a row and uh, had our first state champ, was a, which was a first in uh, school history and, and a top ten finish, um, which also was the first in school history. Um, recently, I've been at Eastport South Manor uh, for the past three years. We've had a state champ every year. Had the pleasure of coaching guys like Adam Buziello and uh, running my club, um, Barn Brothers Wrestling Club, and you know, obviously, I've been active in the wrestling community. Uh, since I've left here in Hofstra. Now, Coach, doesn't this, I mean, this is a, a perfect opportunity. You know the kids, not just on Long Island, but the feeder programs as well. Uh, how do you see this affecting recruiting for Hofstra, and uh, what kind of impact will you have on the recruiting system? Well, I really think that, you know, uh, when Tom Ryan was here, Hofstra made a living off of keeping guys like myself, Long Island talent, at home and, you know, in, a, in an environment where they could be comfortable and successful. And I, I think, again, being that I, I've been in the Long Island wrestling community for so long and have all those relationships already, I think it brings a, uh, a great spark to the program when it comes to the support of the Long Island wrestling community, which I think is the most important thing. You understand how, how difficult it is to climb into to contention. You were a four-time NCAA qualifier at not one, not two, but three different weights, Michael. And and then you earned All-American honors, placing fourth at 74 in 2006. And again, at 165 in 2007, you took six. Um, coaching kids to that honor, to that, uh, to that height, is difficult at best. Every school has state champions. Every school has state runner-ups. I mean, everybody at the collegiate level should be, and generally is, really really good at what they do your job as you see it to refine and hone the skills of those athletes that are under your uh, under your banner the the Hofstra pride 
Yeah, I mean, I was lucky enough in my career to have, you know, great coaches. Donnie Pritzloff was here while I was here, uh, Rob Onspach, Tom Ryan, Tom Shiflett. So um, that influence and having somebody like Tom Ryan, who is an unbelievable motivator and somebody that, you know, uh, I respect a tremendous amount and always did. Even in high school, you know, I built a, an early relationship through his clinics. Um, and having Donnie Pritzloff, who, again, was a great motivator and somebody that I, I attached myself to right away, um, was the reason why I was able to persevere through a lot of injury and uh, and get through my college career and have so much success was having all those guys on my side. And that's what I want to be for the uh, – for the wrestlers here and you know that has opened up a lot of opportunities for me outside of wrestling and that's what i want for for our wrestlers who leave here you've been the caa wrestler of the year doing so in 2006 the championship most outstanding wrestler uh also i want to point out that the caa silver anniversary team is nothing to sniff at that's pretty high honors indeed people love you there thank you yeah all right so let's go to the point when you had to make a decision. You were a two-sport standout while in high school, excelling in both wrestling and football. Was it ever a question what you were going to do? Was it a difficult decision to leave football behind? At that point, no, it wasn't for me. I knew wrestling was uh, what I was best at and what I was going to excel at in college. And uh, so for me at that point, no, it wasn't a very difficult decision. And again, um, my decision had to do with my relationship with Tom Ryan and, and feeling comfortable coming to Hofstra and being home, but being at college and it being an environment that I could I could uh, be successful in. So you've got so many awards, so many, you put all that aside, and in turn, now you, you direct your focus and all your attention, all your abilities that you've been able to put together uh, as, as a head coach and owner of Barn Brothers, the uh, 631, uh, 631 Elite Wrestling Club for Youth, uh, your education uh, from Hofstra, the education of life, the fact that you have uh, Janine and, and uh, Trevor and Gia and, and Ella, that you know this family is, is firmly rooted in and around Hofstra, Long Island. I mean, this is where you live. Now the pride comes to bear. Uh, talk to us about what the first few months are going to look like. Well, I mean, the first few months months are going to be uh, me getting comfortable with, with uh, the administration and really, you know, learning from Dennis, who has a tremendous amount of experience in college wrestling. And, you know, uh, getting the guys in here in September for the preseason and getting to know all the guys, what their goals are, and, and really getting to know them as individuals and how I can, you know, help each, each one of them achieve their goals um, come November. Now, there happens to be a bonus to this whole thing. You have one of the best sports information directors in the business in Jim Sheehan. Um, I know you've probably missed working with Jim. Are you ready to fire back up? And, uh, you know, Jim is one of the best promoters of the sport. I don't think there's anybody out there that writes to the sport better than he. But are you ready to fire back up with Jim Sheehan? I absolutely am, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to working with Jim and everybody here at Hofstra and, uh, again, getting Hofstra wrestling back into the national spotlight with Coach Papadados. Well, it was announced yesterday, much to uh, uh, the glee, the, the absolute uh, joy of the wrestling community as they saw it appear. I saw it on my computer, and then I saw it on Facebook. And I thought, and as I told Dennis Papadonis, I said, this is the best possible hire Hofstra University could have made uh, today, tomorrow, yesterday, it doesn't matter. Having you come back with your abilities, with your knowledge of the area, with your coaching skills and uh, all your experience, this makes Hofstra that much stronger. And I know that you probably had that uh, point brought up in your conversation with Coach Papadonis, and, and I think that's uh, a, a right place to be. Pride much stronger today for having uh, added you. You hit the ground running today, or when is your first actual day? Actually, yesterday was my first day, so I got a lot of paperwork done, and today is the first day that I'll be in the office with Dennis and uh, and hitting the ground running today pretty much. I know we joked a little bit about it yesterday, but will your family continue to reside in Manorville? Uh, yeah, yeah, for the time being. I mean, you know, we're going to stay out there, and I, I have roots out there, and a lot of people have supported me, and, and I'm appreciative to, and I'm going to stay out there and run my club and take the commute, make the sacrifice, uh, you know, to, to get out here. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to stay I'm gonna stay out in Manorville for the time being. How, how long is that commute, Michael? It's about, it's about an hour, 50 minutes to an hour, depending on traffic. Well, you're lucky you didn't. Don't live on the other side of... Uh 
of the city. Yes. <laughs> That'd be like a three-hour trip. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, the good news out there is two-time Hofstra All-American Michael Petrovich joins the Pride Wrestling staff, and he is on staff as of yesterday. Hits the ground running August 1, and that's the way we do things. I want to thank Jimmy Sheehan for helping to make this interview possible. Coach, uh, wrestling coach Dennis Papadatis, our good friend, the head coach there in Hempstead at, at, uh, at Hofstra. And, Michael, who do you want to thank on the way out? i got to believe there are some folks out there that, that uh, have really been in your corner, really pulling for you. No, Scott, I mean, I, I got I to gotta thank everybody first and foremost here at Hofstra for giving me this opportunity. I'm grateful. This is what I love to do and what I'm most passionate about. So first and foremost, I want to thank everybody at Hofstra for the opportunity and Coach Papadatos. And, uh, you know, I really want to thank the Long Island wrestling community. Last night, uh, I mean, the amount of phone calls, text messages, social media, I mean, the support has been unbelievable and, and exciting for me and my family. Um, so mostly I want to thank everybody and especially the Long our wrestling community who has supported me my entire career and uh, I think will continue to support Hofstra Wrestling moving forward. I think that's the important part, recognizing those that continue to be by your side through the good and the bad, and this is very, very good news for Hofstra. Michael, we appreciate your time today in the Nike hot seat. hope you had a good time. Congratulations. The goals are set, and I know that they will evolve a little bit, but uh, with you on board, I think they'll be much easier to achieve. So uh, hats off to you, sir. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate all of us it. To take down. This has been one on one with the new Hofstra assisted coach, and that's Michael Patrovich joining the Pride staff as of August 1st. We appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. <laughs>